Scott Holbrook, president of Secure Tool. Secure Tool is a next generation tool company. We curate, we integrate, and we invent tools that solve the world's biggest challenges. One of the tools that we use quite heavily for quite a lot of challenges actually is IoT. And uh, actually that's going to be the purpose of this video. I'm sitting in front of the Arizona Beer House, one of our IoT host clients, enjoying some of their product. Uh, and you're reflecting actually on an interview that we did with the Gristle King about a week ago. For those who don't know the Gristle King, strongly encourage you to check out his channel. He is a pioneer in the helium and the IoT industry, and he is the absolute best at doing off grid installations for uh, your helium mining devices. So if you live in a rural area or you just think you want to go put a helium miner on top of a mountain, then you know Gristle King is definitely the guy that you want to look to uh, you know absorb his knowledge and you know, he can definitely show you how to do those things. And so anyway, on the on the show, on the interview that we did with him, uh, there was an idea uh, that came out um, and this idea is what we call going beyond the data. And that's what I want to talk about here and I'm going to do that in a couple ways. One, I'm going to explain to you, you know, sort of what going beyond the data means. Secondly, I'm going to show how that applies to a business. And then I'm going to give you some examples of it in action. And so, you know, one thing that, that all businesses want to do is they want to create more cost efficiencies. That is, they want to do what they do in a more cost effective manner. They want to lower their costs, um, improve the service. And so an example of that would be uh, one of our clients, actually, a, uh, a very large pest control company. And they, you know, capture mice and rats and you know, all sorts of things in stadiums and factories and uh, neighborhoods, you know, pretty much anywhere. Uh, and so one of the challenges that they have, uh, one of their most inefficient aspects of their business is actually checking the traps. And so you, know, you can imagine you have a stadium, a stadium, you know, like a football stadium, you know, might have a hundred or more traps in it. And, you know, every day you've got to send someone to go and check a hundred or more traps. This takes hours and hours and hours. Um, and, you know, obviously you're paying that guy and, you know, that guy could be doing other things for the business as well. Uh, and so this is very, very inefficient. Uh, and so what we've actually done is we've created a mouse trap that basically tells you when there's a mouse. Uh, and so now, instead of having to go check individually hundreds of traps every day, you receive the data via you know IoT sensors in the network. You receive the data to your visualization dashboard, and then every morning when you walk into work, you, you already know which traps have something in them, so you can go directly to those traps. Uh, and so we've created you know cost efficiencies, you know utilizing IoT. It now costs less money. Uh, per trap that you check, but that is really only half of what IoT can do. Um, that is just staying within the data. And so what we want to do at Secure is we want to go beyond the data, right? And the idea of going beyond the data is the idea of uh, taking that data instead of simply visualizing and looking at it, actually using it to communicate with other devices via IoT in order to create automations. Um, and so let me give you an example of that, and that would be a pool cleaner. And so basically, if you have a pool, you're paying some guy or girl uh, to come out to your house once a week, and they're checking to see if your chemicals are in balance. Um, if the chemicals are in balance, they leave and do absolutely nothing. If the chemicals are not in balance, then they add chemicals and balance them out. Uh, you know, the thing is, though, you know, a couple things. One, if the chemicals aren't in balance, maybe they were not in balance that day. Maybe they were not in balance, you know, four days ago. So you might be swimming in a pool that has too much or too little chlorine. You know, there's, there's really no way to know unless you have, you know, a pool guy or girl at your house every hour of every day. But who wants that? Um, and that's certainly not efficient. And so what we do with IoT is twofold. One, we live in the data in the sense that we have sensors that will detect whether or not the chemicals inside the pool are in balance. Um, and you know, this would be a cost efficiency in and of itself, right? Uh, and so you know, you, every morning you walk into the, you know, the pool cleaner office and then you have you know, data across your visualization software that says, hey, you know, houses A, B, and C, our chemicals are out of whack, you need to go check them out. The other ones are okay. Um, and that would create an efficiency in the sense that you know, now you know which house to go to, but it's not efficient in the sense that you know you're not you're still not there every hour of every day. Um, you know, secondly though, this does not actually allow you to improve your service. Um, what do I mean by that? Uh, so what you would want to do actually to go beyond the data is actually use that data to create some sort of automation. And so what you would do is you connect your sensor via an IoT network like Helium to the dispenser, right? And then whenever 
the chemicals are out of balance, uh, the sensor tells you how much out of balance there are, it sends a signal to the dispenser, the dispenser can then inject the chemicals into the pool in the appropriate amounts. And now it's like you have a pool cleaner at your house every hour of every day, but there is no pool cleaner at your house ever. Uh, and so what this does for the pool cleaning business is one, it creates uh, a cost efficiency, right? Now they don't have to pay people to go out to your house to check your pool. Uh, secondly, it actually improves the service they can provide because you know now they can actually put the chemicals and bring the balance back at any point in time, you know, as opposed to only once a week when the person actually goes out to the pool. And so this is what we mean by going beyond the data. You know, you, you have the data, you have more data than you've ever had before in the history of the world, but you know, what do you do with it? You just look at it or do you actually use it to create efficiencies and automations within, you know, businesses? Um, and what Secure focuses on is going beyond that data and actually creating those efficiencies uh, and and that, that better service and those automations, you know, using IoT devices and sensors. And so if you like this idea of going beyond the data, uh, I encourage you to, uh, you know, one, check out the interview with Bristle King, you know, watch other videos of ours. We talk about this concept. If you have questions, leave it below. We'll get to everyone that we can. If there's a concept that you want to see covered or an idea that you want us to make a video about, please let us know. We definitely want to make sure that you get value out of the videos that we make. Um, but you know, I'd like to thank you all for watching this. I'd like to encourage you all to think about how you can go beyond the data in your own helium business. And uh, we will see you next video. Thank you.